the air fuel ratio isn't right, it could start to spit literal fire. So we don't want that. So first things first. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the dork side. Today, we have a very special and important announcement, a message for you about safety. One of the most dangerous areas in all of America. Did you know that one in 10 uh, household accidents in America take place in the backyard? It's true, and most of these accidents are lawnmower related. So today, on Dork in the Road, we present our very first moto vlog. Number one, on mower safety. So as you can see, we're using the Craftsman GCV 160. Now, a, a lot of people say you need to start with like a 25 or a 50. You can't jump right into a 160. It's too torquey, it's too powerful of a machine. I say, you know, go for it. Why not? Uh, the safety is important, but if you take the proper precautions, even a torquey, the mean beast like this GCV 160 with the Honda power plant, that's, that's the important part. Even a noob can handle it if they take the right precautions. And the first precaution that you need to take is the right gear. That's right. I always mow at GAT, all the gear, all the time. So I make sure and wear my gloves so that I am protected from any blackberry briars or dandelion fluff or uh, low hanging branches that might come in contact with my hands. Because if I, if I hurt my hand, I won't be able to control the mower and it could spin wildly out of control. It's very important that you use the proper safety gear, including gloves at all times. And that's why I'm wearing my helmet. I normally wear my helmet anyway. I just don't usually have the camera on while I mow the lawn. Now, this mower, it's a little dirty. Okay, I admit it, um, but that's because I actually use it. I, I bought this fancy lawnmower and it just, it's not a garage queen. It doesn't sit in my garage. I don't take it to Starbucks and stand by it and talk about how, how awesome I am at mowing my lawn. This is a working vehicle that I use all the time. It's not, a, it's not for show. It's dirty because I use it because I mow all the time. I'm a big mower. So once a week, at least I'm out here mowing because that is why you get the vehicle. Why would you buy a magnificent machine like this and not use it for what it's intended? I don't understand that it's not just for show. So first things first, we're we're gonna start it up. I apologize if the exhaust is very loud. Um, like I said, very powerful. Um, I haven't done any mods to this particular mower yet, but I'm hoping to do a full system with an intake and an exhaust, but I haven't been able to afford the, the fuel programmer, which is you know pretty important for these, these beasts so that they're running right, because that single cylinder, you just never know. You gotta depress. The, the throttle, okay? This this disengages all the safety systems and make it so that you can start the engine. And then you wanna give one strong, sharp pull right here on the cord. That's the most important part. Now, a good mower will start right up, as you can see. Okay, now I'm gonna open the gate very carefully as we proceed into the backyard where we're gonna mow. Now, when you're ready to move forward, now make sure the area is clear, make sure that you have your gear on, your visor down. All you have to do is gently release the clutch, okay? Now, if you get into trouble, if it starts to get crazy, get away from you, you let this thing go, okay? The power on these automatic drive mowers is a little too much for some people to handle, especially at first, so you gotta be careful, okay? So I'm gonna show you, we're gonna depress very slowly and it's, begin it's gonna begin to move and I'm gonna walk along behind it. I'm not gonna let it drag me, I'm gonna keep the pace, that's very important. Okay, here we go, doing our first rotation. Now, sometimes you're gonna have obstacles in your path, you can't get too close to them, you just can't risk it. So you gotta come back with a different device and really take care of those pieces. Also, you get the mud in here sometimes, depending on what the weather around your area. Um, you just gotta take these precautions, you gotta be ready. You gotta make sure you have the right tires, the right shoes, okay? So, as you can see, we're doing some work back here in the yard, it's not quite complete. But just to give you a sense of how this works. Now, cornering can be difficult, okay? You wanna make sure that you look all the way through the corner. You don't wanna be looking right in front of the mower, you wanna be looking over here where you're going. The difference with a powerful mower like this is, uh, you gotta push from the back. You gotta let the front lead you, but you gotta nudge it to the side. So I'm gonna make this corner as smooth as I can. Now watch where my head is, watch where I'm looking, okay? I'm looking through the corner, right? All the way, okay, and the mower just turns because of where I'm looking. Good, now, careful around the edges. You don't wanna go over. You gotta be careful with gravel. It's very slippery, it's easy to spin out. You don't want a low side on a mower like this because the blades will just go flying, you'll never know. You never know what could happen. I like to make sure that I get the entire perimeter before I start doing anything crazy. Now there's a lot of schools of thought about how to attack a lawn like this. All right, number one, most important rule. 
always mow your mow, okay? Just because you saw some videos of some fancy lawnmower dudes online taking corners, you know, much faster or, or mowing in a zigzag pattern or whatever, doesn't mean that's the right mow for you, okay? You gotta consider the conditions. You gotta consider your yard. You gotta consider the slope. You gotta consider the weather. It's raining out today. Makes this grass slippery. I can't go crazy because I might spin out. I mean, look what happens when you spin out. You don't want those wheels turning by themselves, okay? There's a lot of schools of thought on lawnmower technique, okay? I've left the edges. I'm gonna come back for those later. But I like to use the back and forth pattern, okay? I'm just gonna go one long straight rotation to minimize the amount of corners I have to take in these wet conditions, okay? So I'm just gonna turn around, right? See, I took that corner slow, smooth, kept the throttle steady, and I'm just gonna head back down the same way I came, okay? Notice the grass getting shorter. That's sort of the point. Okay, now, one more thing to pay attention to is the fullness of your bag, okay? You can't just keep mowing once the tank is full, and it feels pretty full. I can tell by just gently touching with my foot. So I'm gonna turn the mower off, and I'm gonna remove this bag, and I'm gonna go dump it. yard waste right in there you see that's good all right you just got to keep a yard waste bin handy you got to properly dispose of your clippings you can't just dump them down the drain all right once you've emptied make sure your visor is closed so again depress the throttle pull the ignition and then gently release the clutch and just ease right back into it okay just be careful just be careful it's very important this is not for everybody you know important that you take the proper precautions and that you've had the proper training. If you don't learn how to lift that front wheel off the ground while you're doing those tight turns, you could be in a lot of trouble. So it's important. Know what you're doing. Take that MSF, the Mower Safety Foundation course. Very important. In fact, required to buy a mower in many states. All right, these narrow strips, very careful. Put it right in the center between your wheels and just follow the line where it goes, okay? Don't get distracted. It's easy to mess up on these precision pieces. Now, what do you do when you run out of grass? You lift the front of the mower, make that tight turn again, okay? Make sure you release the clutch and re engage. Go forward. careful because different types of grass create different mowing conditions, okay? See this crabgrass, which I've been trying to get rid of forever? It's a different terrain. You can't expect it, the mower, to handle exactly the same when going across this type of grass as you can with the regular Bermuda grass. Mowing takes 100% of your attention. You can't be distracted thinking about your midterms or your weeds or your weed whacking or your fertilizing. You need to be mowing. You and that mower form one machine that has a very precision task to do. You need to make sure it's being accomplished correctly. That should be the most important thing on your mind. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that's going to go ahead and do it for this very, very important video. I hope you learned a lot about the importance of mower safety, and I look forward to mowing more for you in the future. If you want to see more mowing shenanigans and or uh, my innovative mowing techniques, please feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button, and until I see you again, be excellent to each other. Thank you.